Recently, Alex Jones had his insane Second Amendment rant on Pierce Morgan. Uh, it wasn't quite as crazy as apparently gun nuts can go. So James <laughs> Yeager is the CEO of Tactical Response This guy is a Tennessee. CEO. Yeah. Okay. Eh, what does that even mean in this context? But he right. went on a series, two videos, two online rants. We've got a number of videos from that. They're all, they're all pretty crazy. Let's, let's start the fun with the first video. It, I'm telling you that if that happens, it's going to spark a civil war, and I'll be glad to fire the first shot. I'm not putting up with it. You shouldn't put up with it. And I need all you patriots to start thinking about what you're going to do. Load your damn mags. Make sure your rifle's clean. Pack a backpack with some food in it and get ready to fight. I'm not fucking putting up with this. I am not letting my country be ruled by a dictator. I'm not letting anybody take my guns. If it goes one inch further, I'm going to start killing people. Okay, well, there you go. Well, you can still worry. You don't have to regulate companies because CEOs, you know, yeah. will regulate themselves fine. Yeah. All right, now... It's not their language. Right. Now, he's saying, look, if Obama comes to take our guns, et cetera. Now, they're finally, President Obama and Vice President Biden are considering an assault weapons ban, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean they take your guns. It, yeah. they, all those guns get grandfathered in. Yeah. Now, one thing they mentioned is they might take some executive action as opposed to bills. That doesn't mean that they're going to take the executive action of taking your guns. No one has suggested that. I'm sure, by the way, that guy really up on the nuances between executive <laughs> action and, and, and working through the legislative process. Yeah, but that's a dictator. And if a dictator yeah. comes, out, okay, well, this is one of those honest, sound like hard-working <laughs> men that the NRA talks about. Yeah, so bottom line is, he obviously, you just heard him say that he's going to start killing people, and yeah. then he's going to fire the first shot. Mm. Uh, it doesn't seem like a responsible gun owner, if you ask me. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Right. Not responsible in terms of protecting his own life, if he has any respect whatsoever for the U.S. military. By the way, he's going to get um, it. I would, I would imagine that he's going to get a visit. Yeah, he certainly should. So. He's going to get a visit. And by the way, if I'm the, the federal agents who are going to make that visit, I, that's, not a, that's a visit I would yeah. come tactically prepared for. Yeah, wear yeah. a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so he's responded. There's obviously been criticism, as I imagine you can imagine. Um, so he has, he's responded to that. This next video talks about, uh, does he you know, take back what he said? Eh, no, he, does, he doesn't really. Let's watch. Uh, a lot of, uh, stirred up a lot with the uh, uh, pack your bags video. So number two here. Um, I, um, here. I was mad when I, when I said it. No. Um, <laughs> and uh, probably... Uh, uh, probably allowed uh, my mouth to, to overrun uh, my logic, uh, but I don't, I don't, uh, I don't retract any of my statements. Now I have edited a video and I took off the end where I said I'm gonna start shooting people. Now I realize there are unedited uh, videos that, ver uh, that people have stolen from me. If you're one of the people that have stolen my video and you've uploaded it onto your site, please take it down. It's my property. It's my property. Take it down. You gonna come shoot me? <laughs> Stole it. Yeah. He initially posted that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if you know this. You post a video online. That that video is pretty public. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Ross story is the uh, people who uh, originally saw it, put it up. Then he gets the uh, pushback on it. Realizes that was a dumb thing to say, or his mouth overran his logic. Mm -hmm. uh, and he says, "Now I'm not retracting it. I'm standing by it, even though I just told you it was irrational. Right. And if you dare quote me, you're stealing from me, and I'm, there's going to be consequences." Yeah. But I'm not retracting any of it. Well, if you're not retracting any of it, then what difference does it make? Yeah. I don't condone anybody doing anything rash. I do not condone anybody uh, committing uh, uh, any kind of felonies uh, up, up, to, up to and including aggravated assaults or, or uh, murders. Unless it's necessary. Now? Right now, it is not necessary. Uh, I love that he has to clarify, I don't condone any murders <laughs> right now, <clears throat> right now. Okay, so just Soon. let's wait a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah, but he goes on in that second video to say a number of other crazy things. Uh, we've got a couple of really short clips that JR prepared. You have no idea how many people that sent me emails and texts and called me and it was like right on my shit's clean my bag's packed you tell me when and where you have no idea how many how quickly i i accidentally assembled an army i assure you uh a, a quite formidable army i like how he's retract like hey don't quote me but i've got an army of people ready to <laughs> kill everybody but, but, right, but i uh, but I, I was i was rash <laughs> yeah. i was rash now I'm, I've considered it and I'm tripling down, mm. right? 
Yeah, it's just it, look. We, we had a we had a production meeting a couple days ago where I talked about what I think in when Alex Jones is making his rant, what he's actually picturing, and uh, it, it's a pretty pretty ridiculous sort of fantasy of what you and your hillbilly militia is capable of accomplishing against a modern military force with tanks and airplanes and cluster bombs and white phosphorus and things like that, and. Like he, he's lived his life, like he's, he trains people in gun safety and like he thinks about it a lot, but this is the best that he can come up with. That Look, let, let, let's put it in, in the funniest terms possible. Video, video seven, he talks about what is necessary to stand up against tyranny. But now's not the time, it's not time yet. It is time to get ready. It is time to get ready. Start working out, start stretching, start practicing. Uh, start, to, start talking with your friends. Uh, coordinating on a on a local basis. Start, start stretching. If you if you don't stretch before you engage <laughs> against an M1 Abrams, you could pull a quad. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> These jeans are too tight. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting ready to fight the federal army. I think he could stand up against A10s now. Oh my god, yeah. that hurt. This is going to take a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, like, that you're was not, a struggle. You're yeah. not ready for the cool. second revolution. I am not ready for the revolution. Start, you know what's interesting? Start uh, stretching. <laughs> <laughs> he can't wait to be the Taliban. Like, well, that's yeah. the Iraqi insurgents and then, of course, the Taliban in Afghanistan. That's what they do. They fight a guerrilla war against our military. And he's, that they're, I guess they're his idols because that's what he wants to do. He can't wait for a guerrilla war inside this country against our military. Now, look, John makes a good point. We send in the drones, that, you know, and you name it, and you're going to be in a world of hurt, man. Yeah. I mean, you go ask the Taliban, you go ask random people in northern Pakistan what happens when the drones come. Okay, you, oh, I'm ready. I stretched out. Oh, bam! And you're <laughs> done. You're annihilated in a split second. Yeah. You didn't even see it coming, okay? But that's, but, but look at the fantasy, though, to John, yeah. John's point. The fantasy is we're gonna be in the woods and we're gonna be ready and our shit's clean. I don't know about you, but my shit's dirty. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, and they got really clean shit and they're all, and they got the bags and they're gonna win. They're gonna overthrow the tyranny of the US government. And by the way, how un American are they? How much do they hate the US government, right? They want to kill the people. The US government, we're, we theoretically live in a democracy. They represent the American people, and if these guys disagree with our representatives, they say, who cares? I don't give a damn about America. I don't give a damn about democracy. I don't care what the majority thinks. I'm going in the woods with my clean shit. 